Hello again. Now the main stories in London. The mother of an autistic boy who was slashed in the neck has posted a photo of her son's injuries on Facebook in an attempt to identify his attackers. 16-year-old Eamon Finn was stabbed in Regency Street in Pimlico. The photograph of his injury has been shared more than 100,000 times on the social media site and police now have released CCTV of the incident. Eamon's amazing. I'm really proud of him, actually. He, um, he just wants them caught. He, Eamon's been raised to believe that when you do something wrong, there are consequences to those actions. And I really want to show him that that's true, that the things that I've taught him are true, that yes, they will be caught and they will be punished for what they've done to him. Former X Factor judge Talisa Contostavlos says that she will appeal after being found guilty of assaulting a blogger at a music festival. The singer was convicted at Stratford Magistrates Court of hitting Savas Morgan at the V Festival in Essex. She's been fined £200. In a statement, she said that she was outraged at the decision and innocent of the charge. Police are appealing for witnesses after a six-year-old boy was killed in a collision with a car. The boy, who's not yet been named, was walking with his family in St John Fisher Road in Thamesmead yesterday afternoon. The driver stopped at the scene but hasn't been arrested. A train that's been renamed to highlight a rare condition has left King's Cross Station to take children on a trip to a wildlife park. The Max Appeal helps the families of children with a rare chromosome disorder known as 22Q deletion syndrome. A new campaign to raise awareness of the symptoms is being fronted by eight-year-old Adam, the son of a train driver, who has the condition. If you were to look uh, in any school and any school classroom, the kids that aren't any good in the playground, the kids that aren't any good in the classroom, and the kids that aren't any good in the sports field, those really should be looked at as probably having 22Q deletion. It is a seriously common, serious genetic condition that is seriously undiagnosed. OK, now let's take a look at the weather with Alex Beresford. We love to get away, whatever the weather. My Ferrylink Dover to Calais Ferries. Sponsor ITV London Weekday Weather. Hello, good afternoon. Yet again, the heat and humidity is building and it is likely to spark off some fairly heavy showers as we go through this afternoon. They could turn on the thundery side as well. Temperatures hot up to 29 degrees as possible, perhaps 30 at a push. Those showers will die away as we go through this evening and overnight it'll be dry with some clear breaks, but still some pretty warm temperatures for nighttime. Lows of 16 or 17 degrees. So it does mean a warm start tomorrow. The best periods of sunshine will lie out towards the west, but as we go through the the afternoon many places clouding over but the heat will still build up to 30 degrees in places my ferry link dover to calais ferries sponsor itv london weekday weather the pollen count sponsored by checkertrade.com checkertrade checkertrade.com with the weather being more changeable in the next few days, pollen levels will be up and down, but only spiking to a moderate reading today and also tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. And just time to take a look at what's coming up at six o'clock. We take a look at an unusual hobby, graving. One woman tells us why she spends her time hanging around in London's cemeteries and the amazing stories that they have to tell. But that is it from us for now. You can get updates throughout the day, of course, by going to our website, itv.com slash London. And we'll be back at six o'clock. Until then, a very good afternoon to you. Bye-bye.